Banaras is one of the well-known handloom weaving regions of India. The region is famous for brocade, sarees and dress material. Exclusive varieties of the Banarsi sarees are Jangla, Tanchoi, Vaskat, Cutwork, Tishu, Butida and Jamdagni, which are made of silk warp and silk weft on plain or satin ground base. The sarees are brocaded with extra weft patterns in different layouts, introducing booties, belts, creepers, bootas in ground, border and archer for getting glamorous appearance. In Varanasi, most of the designers create sketches of the designs first on paper. Generally, a saree design has three to four design components like border, cross border, pallu that is archal and body a pot which are created separately. The sketches of the designs are converted to digital copy by a flatbed scanner. This initial digital design created by the designer is an outline of the artwork to be woven. The designer resets the size of the design or artwork as per the loom parameters like hooks, picks, etc. The number of colors of the design are reduced to incorporate the aesthetics and the restrictions of the handloom. Weaving patterns are assigned primarily based on the color. Artwork editor module helps the designer to edit the artwork. To resize the artwork, Based on the loom parameters, fabric preference module needs to be configured with the specifics like hooks, picks, read count and picks per inch. The design is opened in the artwork editor module which has the facility of resize, rotate and reduce the color of artwork. To make more elaborate changes, the imported sketch is taken into a preferred design tool like Arhane Paint, Coral Draw, Adobe Illustrator, MS Paint, etc. with the primary purpose of cleaning the boundaries and assigning the colors to the artwork based on the required weave patterns. All the changes are done in the design application and using the refresh button in the artwork module, the changes are reflected in the artwork. After editing the artwork in the artwork editor, designer switches to fabric editor module. First of all, the designer needs to select the number of extra wefts which will be used during the weaving of the fabric. In the fabric editor module, designer needs to assign the weaves in each and every color of the artwork. These weaves can be based on the stored weave patterns in the library. During the graph generation, user has the provision to keep the aspect ratio of the artwork by clicking on weave to original size of motif and don't touch border of motif to make the boundary of the artwork smoother. Based on the loom and fabric configuration parameters, material such as warp, weft and extra weft and the consumption is calculated automatically. After creating graph of the design, user can visualize the fabric. The color of the warp, weft and extra weft may be changed. Warp and weft will create the base of the fabric and the extra weft will create the artwork on the fabric. The designer can see the different views of the fabric such as front side view and the back side view. After creating the individual component, the designer can see the different layouts of sari and other garments by putting all the components together. These components can be resized and rotated to see the different perspectives of designs. User can change the color of warp and weft. The repeat pattern of the design may also be changed by the user. After the weave assignment, user can see the graph view of the design. The bigger box in the graph represents the size of the graph such as 12 into 16, 12 into 18 etc. This graph can be zoomed in, zoomed out and edited to give the final touch to the design. 
in the graph, maximum size of the float may be identified and bound accordingly. The graph can be printed on the paper or the output can be given directly to the punching machine. After creating the graph of the design, the cards may be punched either manually or through the punching machine. To punch the jacquard cards using a punching machine, user can give the command directly to punching machine by entering all the required parameters this particular punching machine is Wind Punch Ultra 2016 from Techman Pune. To start punching, user needs to create the template of the card first by specifying the row and columns on the cards. Based on the card template, a job request is being created by selecting the graph of the design. Then punching starts by entering the card number which needs to be punched. During the punching process, user needs to verify the actual card with the virtual card at the screen. For remote centers where the punching machine is not available, the web service portal comes into the picture. The designer can create a job request to get the cards punched by putting all the parameters such as punching direction, graph reading direction and the card size. If the design is in more than two colors, user has the provision to select the color, separated files or a combined file to punch the cards. The designer can select the punching vendor based on the rating, location and rates. The punching machine vendor accepts the job sent by the designer and sends the status of the job request like accepted, in progress, completed etc. via email and SMS in the future. Apart from the punching request, web portal also has a dashboard which reflects the number of design created, trained persons, fabric samples generated and the deployment activities. In Varanasi, the design part of the fabric is woven by the jacquard. The base of the fabric is generated through heeled frames. After punching, the cards are laced together to make a chain of cards. After lacing of the cards, the chain of cards are loaded on the jacquard which moves over the cylinder. In Varanasi, most of the designs on the fabric are created with jacquard. For creating base weave, there is no need for jacquard cards, only heeled frames are sufficient. During the weaving of the fabric, the chain of jacquard cards move over the cylinder and decide the up and down combination of the hooks. When a set of hooks turn up the extra weft thread is passed to create the interlacing of the warp and the weft thread. These are the fabric samples where design graphs were created using Bunai software. Punch cards were punched with punching machine and the fabric was woven at handloom. 